outside. I'm wearing a sweater because I'm cold, because I am always cold. I was at the grocery store to pick up a few things and the cashier was ringing my stuff through and one of the things she rang through was this four pack of yogurt. And when she saw it, she turned to the cashier in the aisle next to us and said, hey look, this woman is buying this yogurt that you love. And the cashier says to me, oh, that yogurt is fantastic. And I said, I know. She was so excited, she like left her cash and came over to talk to me. And we talked about the different flavors of yogurt. And we talked about the fact that we love the way it's packaged because it comes in these really sweet little glass jars uh, with tin foil tops. And then she told me that apparently you can go online and order sort of more substantial tops for them. So I guess you can reuse the jars if you want to. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. And she was like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. And then all my items were run through and I had to leave. I was happy because I love having those little exchanges with strangers, like it's just always pleasant, but I was also sad. If I meet someone who shares the same level of excitement that I have for something random like yogurt, that makes me think that, you know what? That commonality could be indicative of the fact that there is, that, that there is potentially a foundation for a pretty rad friendship here because this person just like gets me on that level. If I was still in my dating life and this had been somebody that I felt like a sexual or romantic attraction to, there are there would have been a socially sanctioned avenue for me to pursue that. Like I could have said something along the lines of, um, you know, if you're into it, I would love to go, you know, grab a coffee and get to know each other better and then proceed from there. That exists if you want to date someone, but that doesn't so much exist if you want to ask someone on a friend date. Like, I think it would seem really weird and uncomfortable um, to say to someone that you've literally spoken to for two minutes, like, hey, do you want to go grab a coffee? It made me think about how we have certain social conventions that make it pretty acceptable to try and initiate a sexual or romantic relationship with someone that we may not have known well at all, like someone that we maybe have just met, um, but we don't have that for friendship. And I realized as I was thinking about it that it's also true with the end of a relationship. Like if you want to end a romantic or a sexual relationship, it is considered acceptable and in fact preferable that once you've made this decision to sit down with the other person or people that you're in this relationship with and have like an explicit conversation about it. I've broken up with people and when I would break up with people, you know, yeah, you know, I would have the breakups where I'd be like, hey, I need to talk to you. And you know, everyone knows what that means. And then we'd sit down and we would have a conversation and I would say something along the lines of, you know what, like I've really enjoyed, you know, your company and your tender kisses and your penis and everything. But you know, I'm, I'm, um, I'm sort of not so much feeling any of that anymore and I would like us to not be in a relationship. It's obviously li not literally what I said, but you know, that conversation has been had and that it's also okay to end a relationship for that reason. Like it doesn't have to be, you're terrible. It can just be, you know what? I'm, I'm just not feeling this vibe anymore. Conversely with a friendship, it seems like the only socially acceptable way or reason to like explicitly end a friendship is if you have a fight. Like it has to be kind of nasty and kind of dirty and it has to be like, this person wronged me in some way and so I cut them off and we are no longer friends because there was an incident and we are angry at each other or I am angry at them or they are angry at me. Like then you can just be like, we're done. I'm not friends with you anymore. But if it's a situation where just through the natural growth and development of the human experience, you and your friend have, you know, drifted apart or your interests have diverged, it's not really popping anymore, you 
aren't really supposed to say anything about it. You're certainly, like, if you go to someone who's your friend or was your friend and explicitly say to them, you know what? I don't think we should be friends anymore. Like, it's, you know, you're not a bad person. You didn't do anything. I just, you know, I don't think we're feeling this anymore. I'm not feeling it anymore. People will think you're an asshole. And they'll be like, you can't just say to someone, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. What a lot of people do, I've done this, is you just kind of ghost out. You, you know, your friend calls or texts or emails you and you're kind of like, oh, I just didn't see that. Or they ask you to do something and you're always, always busy. And it kind of, it's awkward and it's rude actually. And for me, it always leaves me with this feeling of, of unresolvedness. Like, I'm like, uh. But at the same time, I really don't know, like I have not worked out any kind of rap that feels appropriate where I can say to some, like I can just say to someone like, I just, I don't hate you. Um, I'm just not that into you, like, as a friend, just, you know, personal preference. I'm not, we're not clicking. I don't have any answers or, or solutions. I don't know, you know, how to change these social conventions. I guess I could just ignore them, but I honestly feel really uncomfortable doing that. So I don't know. It's just something that I've noticed and was on my mind. So I thought I would share it with all of you. That's my rambling. Um, I'm gonna go make myself some tea or something. I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye! Little kids playing doctor or, you know, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Mine and yours being genitals, usually. What is the deal with that?